Okay. Unable to activate online. Gee, I wonder why. So this is a this is a thing that I haven't been able to show anyone in a very long time. I apologize, the camera setup is very far from ideal right here, but it's what I could grab quickly. So this is a Windows XP clone that I needed to do from a dead old Dell to something a little better, just long enough for them to run QuickBooks to close their company. So they're not even going to use this for a few days, but we have to get into the system. So here's the problem. If you need to get into the system and you need to, say, install drivers for the new system because you can't activate without network drivers, yeah, or if you want to go the illegal route, if you're going to crack Windows XP with something like, uh, what, what was that tool called that they used to use to crack it? It was called, like, uh, I don't know, Free WPA or... But anyway, um, the Windows product activation on XP is not like Vista Service Pack 1 and higher, where it just nags you down here and whatnot. Um, it blocks you from using your computer, which means you can't install drivers, you can't do anything. So you'll never be able to activate Windows without installing the network card driver. So I'm going to show you how to bypass this. Yes, we want to activate Windows. Let's activate Windows. Okay, here's what you do. You see this link here? Click it. Read the Windows privacy what you would call it, right? No good. So we can't do anything with that. Let's activate Windows over the internet. Okay, unable to activate online. Gee, I wonder why. Uh, so what happens if you hit telephone? Generating new installation ID. It's all fine and great, but none of this helps, right? So we're kind of screwed. So what are we going to do now? All right, let me show you. Oh god, web root. Okay. Hit Windows U to bring up Narrator. Hit Microsoft website, which brings up, guess what? Dun dun dun. Uh, a web browser. Not the one I wanted, but whatever. File colon slash 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 C colon backslash Windows System32 CMD.exe. Oh look, it downloaded CMD.exe and now you can click it and I've got a CMD. Yay! So now we can do whatever we want locally. If we need to run device manager, we can run device manager and see how screwed everything is. But the point is, we now have everything that we need to be able to get into this system long enough to fix it. Now the problem, this whole thing is going to just, it's going to automatically close everything and log you out in about five to ten minutes. I can't remember the exact number, so you have to work relatively quickly, but now I can take this external hard drive with drivers on it and I can hook it up and do all kinds of fun stuff. Ooh, Seagate, gross, I know. And we'll get this fixed. So to recap, at the Activate Windows screen, hit Windows U, click Microsoft website on the narrator splash, and use your browser to download the uh, command prompt from Windows System 32 and then you can do whatever you want once you got the command prompt. Alternatively, you could download explorer.exe, but I don't know, you know, you should be using the command prompt because you should be super duper smart like me. That's it. Hope that helps. Have a good one.